Hello guys, Dello304 here. I am at a very awkward um, position right now, but I'm just trying to get the camera to, you know, be cool. You know what, I guess I'll just put the camera in front of me, that way I won't have any confusion. But, um, anyway, today, uh, today's going to be an upgrades of the Dell Latitude D420 computer. I've had this computer for almost a year now, and I haven't really done any upgrades to it. I just did some stuff. But, um... I got some memory here. I'm not going to show you the label, but one is for the GX260. Let's see. This one is for the, the Latitude. The other one's for the GX620 uh, desktop. But um, I also got a keyboard for the computer, a new keyboard, because if I open up this computer here, um, the keyboard is really worn. You can, yeah, you can see that plain and clear. The keyboard's very worn on it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move my chair over to the side. It's kind of weird because I'm doing the video on the side of the... I don't know. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Whoops. God damn it. Why is the camera not... Oh, that's that one. Okay, never mind. I forget how to use my tripod anymore. Anyway, um, let's see if I can go ahead and move the camera like this. Flip the little display around so I can see what I'm doing. What's up, guys? How's it going? Um, we're going to go ahead and do the keyboard first, I guess, uh, because it's open already. So I guess I'll just flip the laptop screen all the way back, pull up the power button cover carefully, and I'll go ahead and find a... find a screwdriver here. I'm just... sorry guys. I'm doing this video very quickly, so... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and remove one screw here. Whoa. Never noticed that before. That's weird. This whole little mechanism came out. That's freaking weird. Might as well just put it back just like that then. <laughs> I've never never seen that before. So I'll just I'll just leave that how it is. And then screw the second screw. Screw number three. Okay. This keyboard is worn as hell, so. What the? Oh, that wasn't the right screw. I was gonna say, that didn't seem like it was the right thing to unscrew, so I'll just go ahead and put that back exactly where it was, because I don't know what it is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put that back. That was the wrong screw there. It don't matter, this keyboard's junk anyway. I mean, it, it works, but it's really worn. Uh, so let me just pop out these screws really quick here. Uno. Dos. And a trace. Okay, screw, come on. There we go. Alright. Now I'm going to carefully disconnect these connectors here. For your touchpad and okay, here's one for. I guess that just pulled up. Yeah, okay, that's the same thing. So there's our keyboard out. Now I'm going to open up the other keyboard. Oh, we have tape. Of course we have tape. Okay. Ah, much better. It's used, but it's it's okay. It's much better than the old one. You can see the keys. You know, turn on the light. There you, go. you can see the keys aren't as worn. Much, much better than the old one. Uh, this one's keyboard's also bent, too, so you can see that. But if you can, I don't know if you can see the difference. Yeah, you can see there. This one's all shiny, but this one's not. So this keyboard is going to be a lot better. It's also, yeah, much better. It's just much better. I'll go ahead and reconnect these connectors here. Sorry if my head comes in the shot. Hopefully that's correct. Really don't want to do this twice. No, no, get in there. That's what she said. There we go. All right. Well, that's kind of weird. Keyboard's kind of bent. Whatever. It'll suck down when I screw it in there. If you know what I mean. Okay, 
I need to stop cracking dirty jokes because this is supposed to be a family oriented YouTube channel. Well, more or less. This is going to be a lot better. It's really going to upgrade the aesthetic look of the computer. Because that other keyboard looked like garbage compared to this. This one is. This screw is just being a bitch. Son, bitch. There we go. Get in there. There we go. Ah, oh, that feels good. Don't think wrong. I know what you're thinking. But much better. Much better typing feel. The other one felt like I was typing on glass. Well, plastic glass, anyway. Go ahead and put the power button cover back on. Hopefully that's correct. And there we are. Oh, that computer looks great now. It looks ten, easily ten times better. Easily ten times better than it used to. Yes, it is worn, but it's nowhere near the, the wear of the other keyboard. <sighs> Much better. Okay, moving on. Moving on to the memory. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up the package here. This memory was 20 bucks, free shipping. Such a good deal. What is this? It's weird. Anyway. Okay, let's go open up this memory here. Come on out. There we go. So there we are. We have some PNY DDR2 PC25300 memory right there. 200 pin. Now, I'm moving from one gigabyte on this computer to two and a half. There's one slot under here um, for memory. There's only one slot on the whole computer right now. 512 megabytes of RAM is integrated into the computer, but of course we do not want that with running Windows 7. So, we're going to go ahead and upgrade it from one gigabyte, replacing the 512 meg stick with a two gig stick, totaling 2.5 gigabytes of memory, which is going to be a huge upgrade. That triples the amount of memory I had before. Well, it doubles at least. Go ahead and take this crappy 512 meg stick out. We don't want that. We want the 2 gigabyte stick. Hopefully all these upgrades go smooth. I know how computers are. So, boom. Simple as that. Slap the cover back on. Just make sure the memory's in there. Yeah, it's in there. I just like to make sure everything's all right first time so I don't have to do it again although I end up having to do it again pretty often so I don't even know why I do that anyway there we are okay we have a new keyboard and two gigabytes well two and a half gigs of memory now so let me go ahead and boot up the computer it's going to be such a big upgrade powering on pressing F2 just to see if the keyboard works, you know. The amount of system memory has changed. That's good. Waiting for the little beep. Come okay, on. Hurry up, baby. This always takes a while for some reason. Come on. You know you want to. Just see the little beeping thing up there. Okay, well let's let's try this again. I don't know what is going on here, but it's usually supposed to press say press F1 to continue. I'm just impatient, that's all. Anyway guys, this is gonna be boring as hell. I'll Anyway, um, that's the memory in the keyboard upgrade, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you later.